Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This one will be regarding the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. How are they viewing you or this connection? What are their feelings towards you? Um, what are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you? Spirits, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please, for Capricorn. What can Capricorn expect, Spirit, in terms of love, relationships? What can Capricorn expect? Right. So, and what you can expect, we have Page of Cups, nice, and Six of Wands, love that. So I feel like for you, um, Capricorn, there's some something coming in with the Page of Cups. Um, it could be an apology from someone. It could be an expression of, you know, emotional interest. Um, it could lead to something. And maybe it starts off small with the Page of Cups, but it leads to success with the Six of Wands. Okay, so what is influencing this energy, past energies, insight, judgment, reverse, and Ten of Swords, reverse. So I'm almost seeing this energy as what happened. Judgment that brought along a Ten of Swords. And this is kind of like over. This is kind of how I'm seeing this, but we'll clarify to make sure that that's the case. Um, I feel like what's happened is something has ended for you or come down for you or you are overcoming the difficulty and it's leading you into something more successful. So how are you feeling? What are your energies at this time? The Hierophant, Taurus energy, and the Temperance card reverse, Sagittarius energy. I feel like you are getting to getting to a certain state of mind where you're a little bit more grounded because I think, but I think this is a work in progress. I think that um, you're not a hundred percent there yet. With the higher font, the higher fonts typically a card about values, conformity, tradition. Um, official institutions, government institutions, religious institutions. Um, so I feel like you're trying to, it's almost like there's something that's happening officially. I have to see what this is about. I'm not getting commitment from this card. Okay, what about the other person? This could be the person that you have dealt with in the past, are currently dealing with, or will be dealing with in the future queen of swords the lovers reverse what is going on there's like a tug of war here gemini energy queen of swords also gemini energy air energy really but i mean it's such a gemini card so we have queen of swords with the lovers reverse hmm. this could be how this person is viewing you maybe you have a tough outer shell hard to approach we'll have to see what this is about there's something going on here okay uh what do you need to know that you don't know the world reverse queen of pentacles reverse okay yeah so there's definitely something that is kind of happening behind the scenes here i think that there's something that's done but then i don't know it's almost like it's not fully closed or or there's like a hesitation um it, almost like this new start that you maybe are on your way um this new start that's coming your way i guess i should say it's going very slow because there's something that's not completely settled okay what is happening in the near future what can capricorn expect in the near future five of cups reverse great oh and then the moon reverse okay so pisces energy okay so what i'm getting here is almost like um i heard i can't win <laughs> okay some of you might feel like there's you know that you can't escape what's happening um maybe it wasn't completely over um whatever this is that's going on maybe there's still more that's going to be rising to the surface with the moon reverse there's a lot of major arcana here almost in every position there's 
except for one there's a major arcana card so i'm getting major you know major shifts in energy major things that are still happening for you capricorn and we're going to break it down in a little bit but i'm sensing like a tug of war from the energies that i'm feeling so far almost like you know taking little baby steps but feeling like you still have a long way to go and i don't know why i'm getting that energy because in my mind i think something's completely over so again maybe this is just one of those readings where something is over but there's still loose ends to kind of tie up uh so we'll see um what's at the the overall energy the root the why everything is happening at the bottom of the deck ace of pentacles i still feel like there's an opportunity for, here for you yeah queen of cups i feel like this is there's something coming in for you capricorn if there's anything you take from this reading take that um there is something coming in for you but i feel like i don't know um like there's still going to be unresolved issues or some things that you might have to take care of uh before you jump into this new opportunity now the five of cups reverse is typically a card about like overcoming a loss overcoming disappointment overcoming um difficulties from your past but sometimes the five of cups reverse could also be Kind of being stuck in the past not being able to break free of the past completely or still thinking about the past the you know situations from the past are lingering so we'll have to see what that's all about let me let's clarify let's get into this i will be doing a yearly outlook reading uh, for the 2022 for all signs in the next couple of weeks. So if you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe so that you can get that right in your inbox when it does come out. And it's going to be basically your outlook for love. I saw the six of swords at the bottom of the deck here. Okay, so let's break this down. Um, Ace of Pentacles. This is kind of why everything is happening and this is the root the foundation of everything probably like what's setting all of this in motion is a nice big offer for you this could be a career move this could be some sort of money that comes in for you tell us about the ace of pentacles spirit what's this ace of pentacles about for capricorn yeah ten of cups this is going to be great this is something really nice um whatever this is i'm trying to figure out who it's from because that page of cups is making me think that this could be related like the page of cups and the ace of pentacles the queen of cups is at the bottom of the deck here oh okay they want to show me the fool yeah this is something new whatever this is is something completely new for you capricorn um hmm. bottom of the deck is the eight of pentacles this could again a lot of you this could be a work opportunity or a career opportunity something that you maybe have been working towards what else do we need to know about this ace of pentacles what else do we need to know about this ace of pentacles empress yeah this is going to be great um there's the devil at the bottom of the deck there you are i think this is telling me that this is for you this whatever this is it's for you and it's going to i heard sit pretty you're going to be sitting pretty <laughs> i don't know what this is about but I feel like you're going to be, yeah, you're going to be doing well. Um, what's after this? Seven of Cups. You might have options, different choices that you need to make here. Make sure that you are choosing the right cups for you. Um, the Seven of Cups can sometimes be a card about illusion. Not every cup is the right cup. Page of Wands. Again, I feel like this is something that you're headed in a new direction or taking the initiative towards somewhere new. Um, and I love that for you, but I'm trying to still get some insight into, I feel for a lot of you, this is career related, but I'm trying to figure out if we get anything about like love, because I'm not feeling it, not, not, I'm not feeling it right now. Can I get one more please for this Ace of Pentacles? What do we need to know for this Ace of Pentacles spirit? What do we need to know? King of Wands. Okay, so this could be somebody interested in you. Uh, three of cups at the bottom of the deck this could be friends co-workers someone that you know through a friend um, this could be something that happens while you're mingling 
Um, someone I feel has their eye on you with the King of Wands. Could be an air, uh, not the air sign, a fire sign. I was thinking about Aries. <laughs> it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A lot of you guys, um, I'm getting this, this um, very strongly. Some of you have a boss or a supervisor that's recognizing your efforts, rewarding you in a way. This could be a promotion. Um, this could be a new role for you, something like that. And they've been watching you, not in a creepy way, but you know what I mean. They've been watching you maybe interact with other people, maybe watching you um, work hard. So let's see if this shows up with this page of cups. Tell me about the page of cups, this energy of like work, um, or if this is love. Tell me about the page of cups. The page of cups could also be a small offer that's not necessarily tied to love, but it makes you feel good. It's very emotionally fulfilling. It's a dream that you have, um, or that maybe an emotional tie that you have to like a dream, for example, in a career, and then they you get that promotion or something like that. Tell me about this page of cups. What's this page of cups about? Ten of wands. What's this page of cups about for Capricorn? What is this page of cups about? Two of wands, page of cups. Okay. Um, okay. The tower at the bottom of the deck. So some of you, I still don't get, oh, there's a queen of cups again. I think this is an emotional shift that's happening for you. Something is happening with this tower. And this could have already happened, by the way, because I feel like down here with Judgment Reverse and the Ten of Swords Reverse, I'm getting like tower energy, like something that happened. Um, so this could have already happened, Capricorn, this tower. And I feel like you're emotionally processing it or there's something coming in that's emotionally fulfilling for you. It's, it's a, something new because I have the Two of Wands here, the Fool fell out. Um, it's something new. Uh, justice is here as well. Yeah, there's the Ace of Wands. There's something coming in for you after all of this. Libra energy with justice. And this is making me think of the Hierophant. So this could be work um, for a lot of you. This could be work related. Um, others of you, this could be just, I don't know, something that comes in that helps you overcome what happened. Whether, you know, and for some of you, like I said, it's work. For others of you, it could be meeting someone new or just cutting ties completely here. Because the Ten of Wands is making me think that things were maybe difficult for a long time. And then look at this story. Ten of Wands, then the Page of Cups appears, and now there's a Two of Wands. A choice, a path that you need to choose. And the Six of Wands is here. So once again, this, this energy of recognition... Um, like people are, you know, admiring you, you're being, you're successful, you're headed towards success. And I know this is a love reading, but I'm just not getting that so far. We'll see if it comes up when I start looking at this other person that you're dealing with. Tell me about this two of wands. I'm curious. What can you tell me about this two of wands? What's this two of wands related to? Five of Wands, King of Swords, Knight of Wands. Ooh, okay. So there might be um, hmm, multiple people. Okay, so some of you beat someone to a position. So there was a position that came out, um, some sort of you know certi certification or a program or something where there was maybe some competition, um, and you won. Others of you, I feel like there's jealousy, like some... People are talking about you, um, yeah, and talking about you making this move, but I feel like you're still going to make it. Yeah, look at this. Knight of Wands, the Chariot, and the Six of Swords. I mean, it cannot be any clearer than that. Cancer energy with the Chariot. So you're making some sort of move, some sort of departure, and I feel like other people are talking about it. There might be, like, um, drama or just people gossiping. Um, I'm picking up, like, this energy of someone that is just very involved in your business, even if it has nothing to do with them. So you're making a move of some sort. If you're debating whether you should take this move, the answer is do it. Go for it. Because there's success there for you. Tell me about Judgment Reverse and the Ten of Swords Reverse. 
Why is Judgment reversed with the Ten of Swords reversed? Two of Swords. Why is Judgment reversed with the Ten of Swords reversed? Okay, I got a bunch. Death, Scorpio Energy, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, something definitely ended. Yeah, Judgment. So Yeah, Judgment and Death are related. Judgment and the Ten of Swords are related. It was a package deal. Let's look at the bottom of the deck because I'm curious. Nine of Wands. Again, it was difficult for you. Whatever happened, Capricorn, was difficult for you. Some of you might have felt stuck. Um, like you didn't know where to go after this. Seven of Pentacles, Two of Swords. What do I do now is what I heard. So some of you were wondering, you know, what you, what you would do. So, you know, if, the, if we're sticking with this theme of the career, some of you might have um, lost a position in the past or you were passed up for a promotion or you had to leave a job, right? There was some sort of realization, judgment call that you made um, or a realization that led to an ending, whatever it is. And some of you are wondering, what am I going to do next? Where, where do I, what, what, where do I go from here? I feel like something's coming in for you. If that's what, if that's what you've been, you know, trying to be. In, I feel like this is tied to money for a lot of you. The Ace of Pentacles. Um, I feel like this is tied to money, courts, government offices, corporate offices, something like that. The Hierophant, Justice. I got like this, like aha moment when I saw them next to each other. So I feel like this is something to do with that. Others of you, this could be a love offer. This could be someone interested in you and it's someone that you meet through a friend or something like that and this will end up being very successful. But it's gonna happen after an ending. I'm still leaving that love possibility in there because I haven't gotten to the rest of the reading. Whatever this was, though, it was very difficult for you, Capricorn. It wasn't easy. Yeah, but you'll be able to make something happen out of this. The Magician. I instantly looked at the Empress with this Magician. I got this very similar energy. So I feel like you were able to make something of this situation. So let's look at your energy. All right, Spirit. Tell us more about the energies between Capricorn and the person they have, are, or will be dealing with. I can't shuffle today. I don't know what's going on. Tell me about the energies between Capricorn and the person they have, are, or will be dealing with. Tell me about Capricorn's energy. Tell me about Capricorn's energy. Moving forward. Secret admirer. Yeah, people are watching you. People are watching you move on. Or they're watching you make a move. Tell me more for Capricorn. I just want to get one more. Tell me more for Capricorn. What's going on for Capricorn? Love letter. Yeah, okay. So something could come in. Someone could be maybe a secret admirer that you didn't know you had. Um... Maybe there's some sort of message from someone that's been watching you make moves in your life. Tell me about the person Capricorn has, is, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know? Falling leaves, changes, transition, time. Time changes everything. Can we get one more for this other person? What else can you tell me about this other person? Hidden feelings, patiently waiting. Okay, this person, whoever this is, okay, I just got the message. Some of you are dealing with a past life partner. Someone that you knew in the past or in a past life that they've been waiting to meet you subconsciously or whatever, spiritually perhaps. This person has been hiding their feelings for you. Um, I feel like this is somebody that you might meet in the future at work, at, a new, at the gym, somewhere where people can watch you, uh, school, etc., um, and someone, ca you know, you, you catch their eye. Falling leaves. I feel like this happens over time. Or a long time has passed since you've reconnected with this person. Something like that. Okay. And again, I feel like this is tied to you moving forward somewhere. You're going to make some sort of move that I feel brings this around. Um, 
This is not for the Capricorns that are doing the exact same thing they were doing last year. You know, if you are, you know, doing the exact same thing in the exact same place, which by the way, there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm just saying that I don't think this reading is for those types of people. This is for someone that has made a move in their life and has left something behind. And for some reason is opening the door for something else to come in. Tell me about the higher font with temperance reverse. I feel like this is more related about timing. There's something here with timing, with temperance reverse, the world reverse. This could be that something's taking its time, slow to come together, slow to start. Tell me about the higher font and the temperance card reverse. What do we need to know about these energies? Five of cups, queen of pentacles shows up again. I feel like this is you, Capricorn. Can I get one more with the five, uh, the five, the higher font and the temperance card reverse? Tell me about the higher font and the temperance card reverse. What do you need to know about these energies? Queen of Cups again. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. There you are, the Devil again, and the Seven of Cups. I feel like there is okay. So for some reason, this. Queen of Pentacles, which is reversed over here and is up right here. This is where you're headed, but you're not there yet. Something with the past. What's this Five of Cups about? There's disappointment. Why is the Five of Cups here? Yeah, the towers. This is what happened in the past. Um, you're still reeling from this, Capricorn. Uh, I feel like you're fine trying to find your balance, trying to find your footing again, trying to get back to yourself. Ace of Swords, Six of Wands, something's coming in for you. There's going to be like an important conversation or some sort of um, communication that comes in for you, a letter of some sort that brings you this offer. We have the Ace of Swords, Six of Wands, Page of Pentacles. There's the lovers, okay. Tell me more about this uh, temperance card reverse. Tell me about temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy. Oh, why do I keep picking two cards? Six of pentacles, five of pentacles. Okay, so some of you, I feel again, this is about finding balance. Um, some of you could be dealing with financial difficulties. Maybe you feel abandoned, lost with the five of pentacles but it's it's gonna work itself out i think you just need to remember who you are remember what you're capable of um i heard this it's a bad day not a bad life it's a bad day not a bad life this could be a setback for you yes this could have been difficult yes a shock most likely something could have ended for good difficult yes but it's not the end. It's not over, you know, it's not like that's your life, the end, it's over for you. That's not the case. All of this is leading you into something completely new that you might not even see coming this Ace of Pentacles. Now, I find it fascinating that you have here Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. I feel like this is an internal battle you have with yourself. Because I feel like whatever happened affected you emotionally. And um, Capricorns, you, you're very grounded, very focused. Uh, usually you have, you're tough. Um, but I think that this really brought you down a little bit. Um, however, I think it's going to, it's almost like whatever happened is going to help you be an even better version of yourself. So let's see what's going on with this other person. The Queen of Swords, the Lover's Reverse. What's going on down here with the Queen of Swords? And the lover's reverse eight of swords okay now the lover's reverse could be a card about a separation so when i see the queen of swords and the lover's reverse it could be that this person wants to talk openly and honestly about a separation tell me about the queen of swords and the lover's reverse we need to know about the queen of swords and the lover's reverse but for a lot of you i still think that this is someone watching you yeah like they see you with this tough exterior hard to approach hard to um uh, talk to right now what else do we need to know about the queen of swords and the lovers reverse 
Yeah, Ace of Cups. This is this is somebody new, and there's the chariot. Once again, the message is clear. A move of some sort brings an Ace of Cups. These are tied together. You cannot have one without the other, is what I'm picking up here, because it just keeps repeating that message. I really feel like this is a new person coming in. Right now, they're probably scared or not sure what to do about the fact that they've noticed you. Maybe they know that you are recently out of something or out of a situation. Um, what else do we need to know about this person? Queen of Swords, the Lovers, Reverse. They're not telling you um, their feelings, so they might be talking to you about other things if they are going to communicate. Six of Swords and the, the High Priestess, no, this person is not talking to you. You can work with this person. Three of Pentacles is here. This person's hiding their feelings from for you or from you. Um, whatever. It doesn't matter. The message is the same. <laughs> They're hiding their feelings or hiding uh, messages or, you know, not really communicating. Six of Swords. Some of you probably left, moved out, moved away, uh, moved to a different part of the world or the country. Uh, maybe you knew this person from long ago, from an old job, an old um, uh, group or whatever. And I feel like this person has kept their feelings ever since then. For others of you, you're going to arrive. I, I'm picturing you like getting off this like boat and you're in a new place and someone like sees you and it's like, I have to go talk to Capricorn. Who is that? Right. Um, but I feel like th th this person is not going to make their feelings known. It's like they're secretly watching you, secretly observing you, make these moves as well. I can see that. Seven of Wands. Yeah, some of you, I feel like you're just not, maybe you're not even interested in love at this time. Or you have a wall around you. You might have um, rejected this person in the past. Or this is how this person's picturing you. Justice at the bottom of the deck. Eight of Pentacles, Four of Wands. I mean, this is great energy. However, I feel like you're going to be, you know, if you are Seven of Wands, it might slow this whole connection of um, from coming together, right? Maybe you're just not ready right now because you've been through so much. So tell me about the world reverse with the Queen of Pentacles reverse. This is in the what you need to know that you don't know. Tell me about the world reverse and the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Wow, Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about the world reverse and the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Eight of Wands. Yeah, there's something. You're going to be making some moves that are going to be long term, like a... Um, Long-term moves are moves that affect your stability long-term, but in a positive way. The moon. I don't think you know this. Yeah. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You're not going to see this coming. A lot of you, this might be a good surprise or something that came at the right time for you. Some of you, again, look at this. Knight of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Look at that. King of Cups after that. I do feel... I still get that energy. Let me know in the in the comments. Has there been someone from your past that you dealt with long ago? It's not this person here with the Ten of Swords. But before that, that you think might still be interested in you. An old flame, an old friend, a childhood friend. Some of you, I still get that energy of a past life soulmate. So you have history with this person, but you just don't know it. 